Hey everybody, welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. Last night I was not able to put a video up because I had to work a few extra hours in the morning and at night. So I figured I would do the rest of the garden in today's video. There's not a whole lot left, so stick around to see what we got. Some of you might be familiar with the sailboat planter that we made last year. That's all planted up and then um, you can see our foreground plants, those green plants down here. Uh, this is a sedum sarmatosum. We have that planted all along the edges here. And those are doing great. They survived the winter nice and healthy and within this next year it should fill out the rest of the bed. Um, we have several different kinds of perennial flowers and then we have some sedum and some thyme as well. If you might notice I also have some motherwort that's growing up in here. We'll probably keep one of these plants in here and then tear the rest out as they do grow pretty large. What we have up in the front, I'm not sure what this is exactly, but we've been trimming it back um, after it flowers each year, uh, taking some nice cuttings from it, um, just so it doesn't get out of control because it, it grows maybe at, at least a foot, maybe even two feet each year from what we've seen so far. So a very vigorous grower. Um, but yeah, I love the planter so far. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't finished that sale yet, but I'm sure we'll get around to it one of these days. As all gardeners know, life is busy and life in the garden is even busier. Now we'll head over here. This whole area was just filled with bushes, so we tore most of those out. And then again, we filled it up with wood chips, several inches of it, so that we can turn this into a nice garden bed in the future. Then we tore out a couple of bushes over on this side, as you can see. Katie did that the other day. Uh, she was out, out in the yard working hard while I was at work. These are beautiful. They smell so good and attract so many bees. It's huge. It must be almost 10 feet tall. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. This right here is a Kusa dogwood. The Kusa dogwood gets pruned in the summer after it has flowered. So the flowers come off of last year's growth and we didn't have any flowers at this time last year, but this year we should. So I'm really excited to see that. I hope it flowers out really nicely for everybody so we can make a cool video out of this one. Again, that's a Kusa dogwood. Now I just have a couple more perennial flowers and then one more willow tree to show you as well. So as you can see, there's a few other plants to be put in here in the future. We have some bleeding hearts on each side of the entrance here. The one this side is doing much better and I'm not sure why either but this one has tripled in size where this little poor guy just hasn't been doing so well. Uh, back here I planted an astilbe that's right there that has just exploded in size and then I also transplanted a few ferns at the end of the year. I wasn't sure if they'd make it but sure enough, they did, and nice and beautiful. Now here's what I'll leave you guys with, is a curly willow. We took this cutting, again, from my parents' house in Marshfield, Wisconsin. And man, is it growing like you wouldn't believe. So this was the original cutting, just that bottom curve there. All of these shoots that are coming off of it have been growing um, over the last year um, and it's the thing is over four feet tall right now and healthy happy it rooted very quickly so if you want to know how to do this um, just go ahead hop on the YouTube channel and check out my video on willow cuttings with that I hope you guys all have a great and wonderful day I hope your weeks are going awesome Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you all later.